there's a lot of misinformation about antibiotic resistance. And the, the, um, a lot of the concern that the, the people that are thinking that we shouldn't be using antibiotics in food animals are scaring the consumer to think that there's antibiotics in my meat that I'm buying. And there's not. The U.S. Department of Agriculture and the Food and Drug Administration have strict guidelines for the withdrawal of those antibiotics prior to slaughter. They know exactly when the bird's um, system metabolizes and clears those antibiotics. So there's not any risk of antibiotic in your meat. The second big concern that uh, some of these consumer groups have um, scared the consumers with is the antibiotic resistance. I hate this term, but you hear people talk about these superbugs. Um, there's no such thing as a superbug. There's bacteria that become resistant to antibiotics. That's a natural process. It's, it's, it, there are antibiotic resistant genes in bacteria that have been found in, in uh, glaciers at the bottom of a glacier uh, tens of thousands of years ago isolate bacteria that have the same resistance genes that the bacteria do today. The bacteria that the CDC is most concerned about, those ones that do get labeled the superbugs are, um, and I'll use the, the big terms, uh, vancomycin resistant, enterococcus, methicillin resistant, staph aureus, these, these bacteria that can cause fatal disease in people, they've not been shown to ever originate out of the animal population, whether it's cows, pigs, chickens, turkeys. Those are hospital acquired. And so the vast majority of these superbugs are hospital acquired, and the human medical community recognizes that. And that's the reason you also see <clears throat> and especially lately, I've been really pleased to see some of the reports coming out of, of different associations of, of human MDs that, hey, we do link a lot of the antibiotic resistance to what we're doing as MDs, and we do need to help educate consumers to, to not ask for antibiotics and educate MDs to not give antibiotics unless they're absolutely certain it's a bacterial infection.